Okay, let's do this. Stay tuned. YouTube. It is I, Random Ross, and this is the best of 2016. So, what have I got coming to celebrate 20... Well, what is the best of 2016? I thought I'd do this by having top fives. And this one today is top ten comic book movies. Uh, sorry, not top ten. Top five comic book movies. So let's get going. Now, before I get this list underway... This is just my personal opinion alone, okay? No one has to agree with it. But this is just my personal opinion of what my top five favourite comic book movies are of this year. So, before I get started, I want to just throw in an honourable mention first to X-Men Apocalypse. Because, you know, I mean, it was a great superhero movie, but it just, um, you know, it missed out a few things for me. Like Wolverine. I mean, yeah, he was in it, but it was a very short part. But still, I think it deserves a mention, even though it didn't make it into this top five. Okay, let's get cracking. So, at number five, we have Doctor Strange. Starring Benedict Cumberbatch as the title character. It's the latest movie in the MCU. MCU and I liked it. You know, and I like how it's going to follow on into the Avengers Infinity War. And I think they might even make... Yeah, in fact, they will make a sequel to it, you know, and I love that one. Next, at number four, we have Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. You know, a lot of superheroes were firing it out this year. We had the Punisher and Daredevil firing it out, and we had, you know, Iron Man and Captain America firing it out. And then we had Batman and Superman both fighting it out. And I was Team Batman all the way. I mean, I like Superman... But when it comes to superheroes, Batman is my one. Next, at number three, again, it is in the third installment of the DCEU. So, that's great to see it finally kicking off the DCEU, their cinematic universe. And that is Suicide Squad. Now, well, Margot Robbie, I mean, come on, who didn't like Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn? We also had Will Smith as Deadshot, and we had Jai Courtney as Captain Boomerang, the guy from Hostel as El Diablo, and we had Ben Affleck as Batman and Bruce Wayne. Not to forget the great Jared Leto playing the Joker. I mean, I didn't know what to think of this Joker at first, but, you know, he won me over with his performance. Wish he did have more screen time, but maybe he will in the next Batman movie. And number two, we got Deadpool. Now, this was hilarious and actiony. You know, Ryan Reynolds made two attempts before at comic book movies. He didn't do so good in X Men Origins Wolverine. He failed miserably at the Green Lantern, but he went back to the X Men universe and he just went back to the drawing board and gave Deadpool the proper cinematic treatment it deserved. And. I can watch that again because it's funny. Killer soundtrack as well. And finally, number one, Captain America Civil War, which was virtually like Avengers 2.5. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I was Team Captain America, and yeah, I, I loved how it gave us Spider-Man in the MCU at last, Black Panther, all them lot. You know, and I'm looking forward to Spider-Man Homecoming. So that has been my top five Superhero movies, best of 2016. What are your favourites? Let me know. Also, be sure to like, share. Sorry, cut off for a second there. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. And also, all my social media links are down below. So be sure to check them out. And until next time, I bid you all a goodbye, friends. Goodbye. And we got more top fives coming for the best of 2016. So until then, see ya.